This Daily Dose is brought to you by Pirate.Black. Ah. Science fiction is a speculative exercise. By speculating on possible futures, sci-fi expands the space of possibilities. Crypto is an extreme kind of sci-fi because as well as offering a vision of the future, it also provides the tools to make that future possible. Crypto is currently energized by a sci-fi called solarpunk. Evolved from cyberpunk, solarpunk is a utopian vision of the future characterized by its optimism. For solarpunks, the future is bright Solarpunk casts away the dystopian shadows of cyberpunk and illuminates a world beyond the chaotic horizon. In many of the popular DeFi chains, solarpunk hackers are creating transparent infrastructures for funding public goods. The shared belief is simple. Public access to a decentralized and transparent financial system will lead to a fairer, and more just world. Solarpunk is crypto's conscious mind. It is bright, self-confident, and future-oriented. Yet the counterpart to solarpunk faith is lunar punk skepticism. Lunar punks are the solar shadow self. They are the unconscious of this cycle. While Solar punks join DAOs, lunar punks prepare for war and build privacy enhanced tooling to protect their communities. Lunar punk first came into being as a subset of solar punk. It has always preferred encryption over the plain text paradigm offered by Ethereum and similar chains. Over time, the tensions created by solarpunk tendencies have only multiplied. Lunarpunk has been forced to break away from the solarpunk legacy and is now asserting its own. In the lunarpunk imaginary, a conflict between crypto and existing power structures is essentially pre-programmed. Regulation forces crypto underground Anonymity proliferates. The lunar punk vision is rejected as a bearish nightmare. Its foundational conflict, nation states banning crypto, is dismissed by solar punk because it produces fear. The kind of fear that compels people to grab their money and run. The optimism of solar punk has become synonymous with bull market cycles, while pessimism is associated with the bear. Lunar Punk offers something beyond this simple oscillation. It is a moment of insight between market cycles, a glitch in the hologram where the source code shines through. Solar Punk fragility. Fragile, something that breaks when shaken. Anti-fragile something that absorbs shocks and becomes stronger. Consider the following. Crypto's core innovation is a diptych. It empowers users while equally diffusing its attack surface. User empowerment is negatively correlated with fragility. The more empowered a user base, the more anti-fragile a network becomes. User empowerment and system anti-fragility are in positive feedback with each other. But this cycle also runs in reverse. In a transparent system, users are exposed. If the external environment turns hostile, this information can be weaponized against them. Faced with persecution, users will opt out, triggering a descent into fragility. The solar punk mindset is essentially optimistic. Transparency in solar punk systems 
is the spirit of optimism projected outward. By building transparent systems, the solar punk says, I have faith that the law won't turn against me. Its insistence on optimism prevents it from preparing for the worst case scenario. This is the core of solar punk fragility. Dark optionality. Anti-fragility hinges on unknowability. The future is dark. It cannot be predicted with meaningful certainty. Optionality has been called the weapon of anti-fragility due to its ability to leverage this darkness to its advantage. Optionality assumes your prophecies are wrong most of the time. Being wrong is cheap, while being right is disproportionately rewarding. Lunar Punk integrates optionality because it thrives in the worst case scenario. If the Lunar Punk thesis is wrong, the super cycle continues. If it's right, crypto enters its next phase armed with the appropriate defenses. Being well defended means going dark, using cryptography to protect the identity and activity of users. A prophecy. Anonymity is first compelled into being as an adaptation to mass surveillance, but its existence also further justifies surveillance efforts. This is a positive feedback loop that implies anonymity and surveillance are fated to escalate. Left running long enough, the loop triggers the next phase in the Lunar Punk's prophecy, what is known as the regulation trap. In this phase, governments use the increase in anonymity as a scapegoat to leverage the full extent of their power against crypto. Yet, by cracking down on crypto, hostile powers simply further its justification. Crypto's utility will be correlated with the extent of the crackdown. It expands disproportionately with each received blow. The Lunar Cycle the sun is both a symbol of nature and of tyranny. Through its insistence on transparency and identity, solar punk inherits the dual characteristics of its central symbol. Solar punk systems are desert landscapes in which users are endangered and exposed. Lunar punk is more like a forest. A dense cover of encryption protects tribes and offers sanctuary for the persecuted. Wooded groves provide a crucial line of defense. Lunar landscapes are dark. They are also teeming with life. Lunar tech is owned and operated by the people themselves in service of their freedom. The lunar cycle upholds democratic techniques against authoritarian technology freedom against surveillance, and diversity against monoculture. By favoring transparency in its systems, Solarpunk is tragically engineering its fate. Surveillance, the mechanism of authoritarianism, is bound to the Solarpunk destiny. For Solarpunk to succeed, it must integrate the Lunarpunk unconscious, the only hope for solar punk is to go dark. Follow the treasure to pirate.black because financial privacy today is freedom tomorrow. Ah!